Our team will be addressing the prenatal period. Other objectives. We're going to be, you know, the future leaders of public health. We're going to be faced with all types of problems. So we have to come up with solutions and strategies to solve them. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to do so. We have lots of changes or just... We have 29 teams, 20 different universities and colleges across America and as well as across the world. Do you have any maternal deaths? I'm very much impressed with the case studies that have been uh, picked, as well as in preparing this future global health leaders. I'm looking for innovation, excitement, <laughs> new ideas. What we enjoyed the most was being able to collaborate as a multidisciplinary team. We got two medical students, two MPH students, uh, one uh, master's in science and global health, and one undergraduate student. Being able to share our ideas and collaborate to build an intervention was a very memorable experience. It teaches us how to come up with proposals and make real life um, solutions for real life problems. This is one of those times where a practical or tabletop exercise is really potentially going to provide fodder for some real life interventions. They walk away with an appreciation for a real world experience in making a bid and trying to get a government agency or a not-for-profit to, to invest in their ideas. This appealed to us because some of the lessons that we think um, we could learn from here we could actually bring back to, and help make people healthier. What I, I want them to do is to think about their future and the Emory experience has been vocation shaping for some students. You're learning from each other. It's exciting, making global health relevant to them, helping them think creatively about how to work together to address the solution. Congratulations to Team 21, the Uniformed Services University. It feels amazing. We are actually part of a global health interest group at our university. Hopefully we can continue doing field work, working in global health. These are the next leaders for sure.